apartments where I live. It's sounding pretty rough at my house. We missed making that practice last night. It rained out. I wonder if they're doing it again. Mm -hmm. Well, I got enough to buy it, so do well. Yeah, it looks like the sun's back out now. I know. <laughs> Let's see what we're doing.
The requested zoning will permit a use that is suitable in view of the use and development of adjacent and nearby property. The change of zoning will not adversely affect the existing and adjacent property. Subject properties may have restricted economic use as currently zoned. The change in zoning will not cause an excessive or burdensome use of existing streets, transportation facilities, utilities, or schools. The future land use plan does show these two. Um, that they should be commercial retail uh, in the future land use plan. The Planning Commission recommends approval, and the Code Enforcement Staff recommendation is also approved. For those three. Okay. There's a uh, property over here. Come before the council and state your name and address, and I'll give you 10 minutes. All right. My name is Brian Krosick, 411 South Madison. Um, appreciate uh, you, all y'all are doing to make Monroe the best place that it can be to live. And that is our desire in this PRD approval. So to take three existing lots and turn them into a, a planned residential development to increase, the goal would be to increase home ownership in downtown Monroe, a walkable community uh, that is near downtown and provides families the, the option to purchase and live in um, our downtown Monroe area. Um, we believe that this change zoning will have a positive impact on all of the adjacent properties, and especially in that section where we live and in town, our desire is to improve and revitalize that area of our community. Um, on a regular basis in my role, I'm approached by people uh, that would love to live downtown, that love to feel downtown in the road, the, the cuteness, the quaintness of, of downtown in the road. But honestly, for purchase, there is very little options for individuals, families, it's everything from young families to singles to, to uh, empty nesters that would like to live in our community. Um, but to be a homeowner, there, there are little options. Um, there's a lot of rental options. And in fact, uh, the two first, uh, the two families that are first interested in, in this development already wanting to, to be in that area are current renters in downtown Monroe. And this would give them the option to become homeowners. So it's with that in mind that I would ask the council and mayor to, uh, to approve this rezoning application. Okay. Anyone have any questions? Thank you. If uh, need be, I'll give you a rebuttal kind of. Thank you. Does anyone in the audience like to speak for this rezoning? <coughs> Any, anyone in the audience like to speak against the rezone? Okay, hearing none, we'll close this part of the public hearing and bring it to the council. And Mayor and Council, if there is a motion, the suggestion would be that it would be a, a, a joint motion to consider all three rezone applications for the three addresses, 309 Millage, 321 Millage, 350 David Street, they could all be taken as one motion for rezone to PRD as applied. Okay, thank you. May I like to make a motion to be approved. I have stated this extensively and commend the owners of this property now for, pretty, uh, for recommending single family uh, dwellings that are workforce housing, that are affordable and quality housing coming into this area of downtown. So. With that in mind, I move approval of the rezone request for 309 Millage Avenue, 321 Millage Avenue, and 350 Davis Street. Second. We have a motion by Mr. Bradley. Second. Second by Mr. Little. Any discussion? Any questions? Okay. Hearing none, all in favor? No. Aye. Aye. Any opposed? That passes. Item D, uh, zoning there, 2060 West Spring Street. Yes, sir. Thank you again. Um, this is petition number 15-00176. Um, it is an application for a variance on the zoning requirements at uh, 2060 West Spring Street. And again, I'll read through all those particulars. <coughs> it won't take so much time. The applicant, Wolver Wolverton and Associates, request a variance to allow 40 parking spaces as opposed to the 22 allowed by our ordinance. The property consists of plus or minus 1.1 acres fronting on West Spring Street. 
property has 258.23 feet of road frontage on West Spring Street, and the code department recommends approval. Uh, the extraordinary and exceptional conditions pertaining to the subject property because of size, shape, or topography are none. Uh, the literal application of this ordinance does not or does create an un unnecessary hardship. The variance would not cause substantial detriment to public good or impair the purposes or intent of the ordinance. The variance does not confer upon the property of the applicant any special privilege denied to others, other properties in the district. The special circumstances surrounding the request for variance are the, are the results of acts by the applicant. Uh, the variance is not a request to permit a use of land, building, or structures which is not permitted by right or by conditional use in the district. The zoning proposal is consistent with the construction and design standards and design criteria adopted by the City of Monroe. The variance is the minimum variance that will make possible and economically viable use of the land, building, or structure. Okay. Is the property owner or representative here tonight? Okay. I am. Thank you. I'll give you. 10 minutes to speak before the council if you need that much, and if needed, we'll give you a little time. Okay. Uh, my name is Tom DeGrace. I'm a professional engineer with Wolverton and Associates. We represent uh, Premier King, which is the franchisor for uh, the franchisee for this uh, King uh, restaurant. Um, and um, Walmart is uh, selling an out parcel from a little over an acre to uh, Premier King's. Uh, Premier King's that plans on opening a quick service uh, from the facility. Uh, we worked with staff very diligently to try to come up with a parking layout and plan that, that uh, is acceptable to everyone. Um, the truth of the matter is the employees, uh, the number of employees uh, during the peak launch is 10 employees, which would have taken up half of the parking spaces if we stuck with the uh, 20, 22 parking spaces or so. so uh, we really need to have the additional parking to make the, the uh, facility work. So, so if you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you. Is this, is this a access area? Is that a, a new entry that you're putting in? No, um, <clears throat> there is no new entries off of uh, Spring Street, West Spring Street. Uh, it is, uh, the entire property is within the existing parking lot okay. of, of Walmart. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone in the audience would like to speak for this rezone variance? Anyone like to speak against this zone variance? If I hear none, we'll close this part of the public hearing and bring it to the council. Well, it's us was asking last week this virtually involves no additional parking um paving no no because it's already it's already, it's already paved there. as part of walmart that's correct okay i move approval i have a motion by mr brad second by mr edcock any, any more discussion hearing none all in favor uh, any opposed it passes Right, moving into new business, we have an application for beer and wine on premises consumption. The Cotton Cafe. That application is in order, Mayor. Okay, is the uh, owner here? Okay. Um, just wanted to apply. Thank you for seeing me. I think it would be better in the downtown area. We're here in limited. Um, places where people can go and have a glass of wine or drink a beer and enjoy some live music or entertainment in that fashion. And I, I, I think it's good for the economy um, for the downtown Monroe area, and I just think it's all a really good idea. And that is my goal, is to better the downtown. Okay. So moved. By Mr. Richard. Second. Second by Ms. Scott. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Any opposed? That passes. Item number two application for beer and wine on premises consumption in Milo's restaurant. That application is in order, Mayor. Okay. Is the owner here? Okay. Um, just there. 
Library Council, we just believe that in building a staple restaurant in Monroe, that our guests would love to know and enjoy the casual SDL atmosphere, a glass of wine, the, the company with nice entrees, nice memories, something like that. Thank you very much. Make motion. So moved. I have a motion by Mr. Rich. Second. Second by Mr. Dragkow. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? No. Aye. Any opposed? That passes. Item number three, application for beer and wine package sales, Maxson Food Group. That application is in more order. All right. Front down here. Okay. You, you don't need to, unless you want to address the council. <coughs> Okay. And, uh, motion. Yes. Second. Second, Mr. Rivers. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? That passes. Item number four, application beer and wine package sales shortstop. That application is also in the board. Okay. Owner here? Okay. Move to approve. Mr. Scott? Second. Second. Mr. Bradley? Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? That passes. Thank you. Item number five, discussion of military. Matthew, I'm going to ask Mr. Prather if she'll make some Thank you. This um, is just a formality. I need to run the five-year ad. Um, stating that we will be setting the millage rate on September 1st and um, we're just asking to run the ad at the rollback rate which is 8.115 reduction um, over last year of 2.26 percent. Make a motion that we run that ad. We have a motion by Ms. Dixon. Second. Second by Mr. Bradley. Okay. Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Any opposed? That passes. And that completes our meeting, so we need to adjourn. Mr. Bridges. Second. Second by Ms. Scott, all in favor? Aye. Meeting adjourned. Thank you, guys.